Elizabeth Olsen says that the reason she took on WandaVision is because it's the story that she always wanted to tell. Yeah, I think we all know which way this is going. I think we all know. X-Men Origins Wanda. That's sarcasm. So many people always miss that. We've known for a while that Marvel Studios wanted to further expand upon who the Scarlet Witch was. Now when it came to the film side of things, there was just no real opportunity to go further into this because you're so limited and all the movies she's appeared in, she was a supporting character. So you really didn't have time to dedicate multiple hours worth of backstory, character development and all this to a supporting character who I would argue was like a third tier character when it came to importance in many of these movies she's appeared in. So yeah, we really haven't had the time. Now when it comes to WandaVision, we're going to have plenty of time because there's going to be plenty of time to be able to tell these stories. And recently, Elizabeth Olsen, who plays the Scarlet Witch aka Wanda, opened up a little bit about why she decided to accept the role and the pitch for WandaVision. And she said, and I quote, I thought that was exciting on its own, and also kind of intimidating. It is a bit nerve-wracking being the first, but when Kevin Feige explained his idea for WandaVision, and specifically the comics he wanted to reference and pay homage to, it was really easy for me to want to do that, because it was more or less the story that I've always wanted to tell, without knowing that we would be interweaving sitcoms. It's House of M. Okay, she didn't add the House of M part, that was clearly me, but that's exactly what she's saying, because if we go back to the early interviews that she did for Age of Ultron, for example, and when all the questions were brought up about how Fox owns that and how it's never possible, she kept saying that the one thing that she would love to do would be House of M. As far back as two years ago, before we got all these confirmations and the shows and everything, she was saying she would love to come back and work more with Marvel Studios and now that they own Fox, House of M would be something that she's very much interested in because that's one of the most important and seminal stories when it comes to the Scarlet Witch. Again, we're clearly getting that here. Yes, it's not going to be House of M one for one because you can't do that because one, that's boring, two, that's stupid, three, that's not the way you do it because let's be real, you got to take your own twist on it, but it's going to have elements of that that resonate with this character and that world. And I know before people start saying, but it's not the same without all the mutants. Again, we don't know what exactly we have in store for this. For all we know, mutants might be in the series and we just have no idea. So let's wait and see, but I think it's going to be interesting to see how this compares to the House of M comics and what elements they decide to pull and what they leave out. So what do you guys think? Is there another Wanda story from the comics they could possibly be doing? I mean, for the love of God, I hope it's not the Ultimates version. I do not want to see her and Quicksilver um do that. No. Keep your Game of Thrones out of my MCU.